This session is from Let's Learn the Concept in 5 to 10 Minutes series. This 5 minutes videos will help in case you are going for interview and need to go through and brush up the concept quickly. Playlist will be updated every week, so subscribe to the channel to see more such content anytime and share if you like it. All the best. Hi guys, uh, welcome all of you. So in this session, uh, we will see how can we handle dynamic or auto suggest to drop down in Selenium WebDriver. So in this session, we will see what exactly auto suggest to drop down means and uh, how we can select an option from that drop down. So in last session, we have seen uh, how we can uh, handle the static drop down. So you see the static drop down will have uh, select tag associated with them. So that's why uh, we will be able to use the methods available in the select class. And we will be able to uh, select any option from that drop down using select by uh, index, select by value or select by visible text method. And what is auto suggest your dynamic drop down? So on make my trip website, you will see this uh, drop down from city and to city. These two drop downs are uh, auto suggest you. So it will show you the option depending upon your search. Okay. So currently I'm searching BEN. So according to we are uh, able to see these options which contains BEN in the text in the city name. So here uh, if you inspect any option, uh, you won't find a select tag. So you can see here there is no select tag available here. It's a uh, due tag. So that's why we won't be able to use the select class methods. So how will you handle this? So on my uh, Selenium series on the channel, uh, there is already a one video uh, where I have shown you uh, the one way by which uh, you can select any option from this auto suggest to drop down. So in that I have used JavaScript executor and uh, how can you select is just use your uh, keyboard buttons the down arrow uh, go to each and every option okay and compare it with your desired option to select so if it matches with the desired option then we will press the enter button like this okay so this i have already explained in that video you can go and watch that video so in this video i am going to show you uh, another way by which you can select any option from this dynamic drop down so it, uh, it is giving you the suggestion depending upon you what you search. So let's go and uh, let's say we are going to select this uh, Benin city option from this drop down. Okay. So first you need to go to make my trip. Then uh, you need to click on this from. Okay. And then you need to enter or BEN. So for that you can use the send keys method. Okay. So let's go and see quickly. Okay. So here uh, we are going to open the Chrome browser and then make my trip and option that we are going to select is Benin city okay so for that first let us create uh, let us go and click on that from city field okay so for that draw dot find element uh, let's say what is available there so here it is a input field so directly we can send the text also so let us use this id by dot id and id is from city okay dot let's send keys and we will send ben okay and save it so now uh, next thing is uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to store this list we need to get the list of this uh, suggested options okay we can uh, get it using uh, by creating a customized xpath so let us go and create xpath for that so this okay this is the ul tag so okay so you can see this is you know, to create xpath for this uh, ul and under ul there are uh, list uh, available okay with li tag uh, using class let's ul and direct class equal to okay so we want all these 15 options first okay so use this x path and get the list how will you get the list by using dot dot find elements method then by dot x path this is what the x path okay and this x path will return the list of web element so that you need to store in a list so it is a list of web element okay 
let's give as uh, options list equal to and import it from util and this from selenium package okay so once you get the list what we will do using for loop we will compare uh, each element one by one okay we will get the text and we will compare it with the uh, our option to select so for that you can use the enhanced for loop so for uh, each element from this options list so from this for each element from the options list first we will store let's say current option is equal to element dot get text and this we will compare with our option to select so if current option dot equals or contains uh, a text can be different okay it's not like uh, correctly it will be banning city there might be banning city and other text also available so let us use the contains and contains what option to select if it is available means if Benin city is there in the web element text then that is our desired option then what we will do we will go and click on that web element so element dot click and here we will break the loop okay we will break the loop here so if it is not available if it is not uh, contains Benin city then it will go to next web element again it will take get the text and again it will compare with the option to select so this will loop continues up to the 15 option because we got the 15 web element okay by using this x path so from that 15 if we don't get our desired op uh, desired option okay then at the end we will uh, show that uh, that desired option is not available in the drop down so how can you show that uh, our for loop is ending here so here we will check if uh, for that purpose what we will do uh, let us declare one variable integer count equal to 0 and uh, if we found any matching element okay let us just increase that counter okay so if if count uh, not equal to 0 okay that means our control comes in this if block once you find the desired element so count will be increased by one so count will become one so this time count will not equal to zero so here we will print uh, this option is selected so Benin city has been selected in the drop down and if counter does not change then in else if counter remains zero okay so this time we will print uh, option you want to select is not available in drop down and after entering ben uh, let's wait for uh, let's say two to three seconds to so that we will get that 15 options on the ui so here you can use the explicit wait uh, so as of now i'm just using thread dot sleep so and uh, let's give it as a be and here so let's go and run so you can see benin city has been selected in the option and if you see our test case it is showing Benin city has been selected that means this code is working fine so this is how you can select an option from auto suggest to drop down uh, just get the list of options okay after a suggestion and using enhanced for loop uh, just compare with the current option with the uh, option you want to select okay so once you get it just click on that option okay and break the loop so that's it for this session uh, i hope uh, you, this session will help you in the interviews
so i will see you in the next session so till that take care and uh, keep learning